That whole intro lane. What is up, SK Squad? This bitch wanna be first. Probably because she old. <laughs> Yo, what's up, future clovers and butterflies? Y'all know who it is. It's KT, and I'm back. But uh, we're gonna do this uh, spur ground Sunday. It's a little bit different. Um, normally, you know, I show you guys the bag when it's the the item when it's actually in the bag, which is when they're in these bags or in these bags. But today, you know, I had already opened it up, looked at it. Yo, know, this was one of the pieces that I waited for all summer to drop. Like, I thought this was going to drop in the 613 drop. So, yes, I was up at 613 a.m. looking for this piece. It wasn't in there, but I still caught pieces. And then I thought it was going to drop on the 715 drop, but it didn't drop. And I was up, you know, all like up all morning trying to get... Oh, Hoping that they were going to drop this song. I was constantly refreshing and refreshing and refreshing. My brows are hoping that they'll add on another bag. But unfortunately they didn't. But then they finally dropped it. And of course I had to cop it. Because this was one piece that I was really. Um, I was really waiting for all summer. Um, as you guys can see the design is raw. It does have pit bulls on it. Um, the reason being that I right, I did want this piece. Because you know um, I was an owner of pit bulls. I've, I've had three pit bulls. Um. Well, actually, I've had four pit bulls. Let me rephrase that. Four pit bulls. I really didn't like dogs, but once I got those dogs, you know, I just started to get used to them a little bit more and more. So, you know, pit bulls have always kind of, I guess you could say, been a part of my life for the past ooh, so many years, you know. But um, anyways, though, so we're going to go over this bag. I mean, it's a dope. It's actually a chest piece, you know. They call it a chest piece. It's the pit bull chest piece. Um, They also have a book bag, which has a pit bull design on it. And, um... I will be getting that bag, and when I get that bag, I'll be doing a review on that. But um, we're going to go in and get to this chest piece, which is dope. I'm going to go over the details of the bag. I'm going to go over what I like about the bag, what I don't like about the bag, and what can make the bag a little bit better. But uh, let's go ahead and do what we do. All right, y'all. So, as y'all can see, you know, Pitbull chest piece, you know. What I mean by chest piece is it actually... You know, you clip it over your, you put it over your head and you clip it with these. And you know, I, I actually like these because these are actually the clips. And these clips got a little bit of weight. These are not those plastic, you know, non-sturdy clips. These clips actually, it, like this is, you can see it's metal, it's hard. So it, the real deal, you know. But uh, these are the clips to it. Each side has one. Um, the back of the bag. You know, normally, normally I go over the front of the bag, then the back. But we gonna go over the the back of it because when I put it back on, you guys, I, you won't be able to see it because I'm I'm not gonna turn around. So we just gonna show it right now. But it's, as you can see, it's the overall pit bull design. And these pit bulls are, I mean, just the artwork alone in itself are it's just like dope as hell. Like you can really see the features of the pit bulls. Yes, they are aggressive pit bulls. Um, they're actually dope because it shows like the different looks on each pit bull face, which I I mean, I think the shit is just like dope as hell. I don't know why I love this piece. Not because it's a chest piece. I think just, just because of the fact that it does have the pit bulls on it. That's why I love this piece so much. Like, um, Spurgeon does have another chest piece. I will be getting that soon, but it's just something about this one that I love. Um, I really can't say why, but I, I mean, I really do love this design on it. Anyways, though, um... You know, like most of the back of their book bags, they do have that other, that one pocket. But this one has, this chest piece has a back pocket. I mean, the pocket is not as deep. Well, actually, I guess it's, it's not as deep. It, it comes to about like right here. So it's a decent size if you want to put stuff in your back. But me personally, I won't be putting nothing in this back part because, like I say, this will be on my back. So, you know, I don't want to put nothing in the back because I don't want nobody to try to pick pocket my back and you know what I'm saying, or whatever the case may be. Um, then you have the straps, which have, you know, the uh, the diamond kind of logo. Well, not logo, but the diamond designs in it or whatever like that. Um, these also are metal pieces. Like, everything, on, on, all these pieces on here are metal. You know, the only thing plastic that's on this bag is this little thing that comes with the, of course, the tag Um. Most of my spray ground bags, you know, I normally keep the tags on, but I think this one, I'm going to take this off because it's not, it ain't going, it, it's going to be too uncomfortable, you know, poking me in my bag when I wear this or whatever. So this, I will be taking off. Most, all of my other spray ground bags, I keep these tags on, but this one is going to come off. Um, Anyways, though, let's get to the front of it. 
and since we're going to the front of the bag, I'm just going to go ahead and put the bag, you know, the chest piece on. I put the chest piece on, and I'm going to hook it up, you know, and you can adjust them to fit you how you want it to fit. You want it to fit loose. It can fit loose if you want it to fit, you know, if you want it tight, it can be tight, but I got mine tight because I don't really too much like my bags or anything loose. So, we have the top pocket up here, and as you can see, we got the chains up here. Like the chains are holding on to the pit bulls, which is dope. But the top pocket, and of course, right here, it's a this, it, it comes right here, you know, and it's probably about this wide. So you can put, you know, your cell phone in it. In case you want to put your cell phone in it, credit cards or whatever the case is, with, or a little cash, you know. And then we have this pocket, which has, of course, the infamous limited edition, never produced again, spray ground thing in here. And then that pocket, which has also have three additional pockets that you can put whatever in the case who knows whatever you want to put in here if you want to put a, a a bottle in here a fifth or something in here or whatever the case may be as you can see the inside is red which is you know it's kind of dope i really kind of didn't expect the inside to be red but it is red but um it's not that much we can go over the bag as far as the overall design of the bag overall the design of the bag to me is dope um the pockets of the bag is one on the back two one up here two three four five six or six you know pockets on here um unfortunately this one does not have a stash pocket it would be dope if it did have a stash pocket so with that being said i guess we get into you know i guess what can make the bag a little bit better if it had a stash pocket that would be dope um i think if the inside probably wasn't red it was a different color maybe like this gray or something like that or the inside was black it'll be better it'll be cool it'll be dope but being that it's red it's kind of dope you know what i'm saying itself or whatever but i mean other than that it's not much that we can go over when it comes in this bag well let me rephrase myself let me stop saying bad when it comes to this chest piece like i have many bags but this is a chest piece so let me be clear the pit bull chest piece i know i keep saying bad because like i say they have a line of bats he just recently started releasing chest pieces and i think this is the second chess piece. There's another gold and black chess piece, but this is the second one. Um, this is the Pitbull edition. He does have a book bag. That's the Pitbull edition. But like I said, it's not that much we can go over about it. We move over the part, the compartments of it, the detail of it, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Other than that, um, this bag, to me, as far as rating, um, I give this bag, I say about a, a eight and a half. I know why would I give it an eight and a half if this is the bag I really wanted. I don't know why, like I said, if it came with a stash pocket, it would be dope. And if the inside wasn't red, it was something else, you know. If it came with a stash pocket and the inside of it was, like, black or gray, it would be a 10. But because it does, it's missing those two things, then I'm going to give it an 8 and a half. But other than that, um, yo, the overall design, whoever actually did these, I don't know. If it Actually, you know what? When I actually look at it. They kind of actually look like. It looked like, you know, somebody actually, like, hand-drew these pit bulls. So, it looked like somebody actually hand-drew the pit bulls. It doesn't look like it's a picture of, like, they took took a picture and put it on me. Like, somebody actually just, like, sat down and actually hand-drew these. So, that's what, to me, that's what makes this bag so dope. And it's, like, and it's, each dog has a different expression on its face. Let's do that. About they got almost about a different expression on their face, but um, yo, it is me, KT. Of course, this is Spread Around Sundays. Yo, we just did another quick review. You know, um, once I edit it, if if, if I if the book back comes, you know, before I decide to uh, post this video, then I also do the review on the other pit bull book back as well but uh till then get your clothes and butterflies it is me kt um we just did a review the straight on pit bull um if you guys want to get this bag this is one of the newest releases so you can find it on spreadground.com um i forgot how much it was i believe it was 50 i'm not sure but he sh they should still have more pieces of these so if you want to cop it go on the spreadground.com if you just guys want to um just get a look at it or you know go follow them on instagram or whatever but um uh, Y'all know what y'all do. Do what y'all do. Like, comment, subscribe. You know, drop a dog emoji in the comments. Um, Drop a clover. Drop a butterfly. Drop a book bag. Until then, KT, I'm out. Spread down Sundays. Y'all enjoy y'all morning, noon, night, afternoon, or whatever.
Did I stop it or stop? Stop it. It's, 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 it